con continuing on, you go out and test it yourself because the Harvard Medical School doctor slash top psychiatrist. Give me one second. Let me look this man up again because y'all are... Yes, the top Harvard psychiatrist. The top Harvard psychiatrist. Goes and tells the world that telepathy is fucking real. Telepathy. Telepathy. The surprising benefits of spoiling yourself. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm spoiling myself by being as evil as I can fucking be. As evil as I can be. Because this woman right here, the one who's getting awards from Harvard, this woman flat out stated... In this video, she flat out stated, give me one second, because this is stupid. This is stu healthcare.gov. I have to go pay for, I have to go pay for my health to be fucking considered with inalienable rights. And I have to enroll by my birthday. Do you see how evil it is? I have to enroll by my birthday. This woman flat out said in this video, Like, do you understand a, a, bear, a race which bears no prejudice? Y'all over here, she has to instruct y'all to not be prejudicial because y'all are fucking stupid. Exactly. How can I protect something so perfect? Me, I'm perfect. I have inalienable rights. Only perfect things and perfect people are given inalienable rights. Do you understand? So if you are violating me and in turn I have a chronology that proves that I have been violated since before I could even fully form sentences because my fucking mom married a full-blown alcoholic even the fucking courts gave her custody of me because they could assess that my father was an alcoholic. Even the courts gave her custody, but it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, she still married an alcoholic and I still had to experience a divorce and I could not experience the experience of being raised with a mother and a father that were in a loving, monogamous marriage together. I could not experience that. I had to fucking experience the experience of her going around with all these random fucking abusers so that she can violate me more. I was violated from the get-go. And guess what? You don't get to state whether I've been compensated or not. I do. And how do I show that? With joy and happiness. I'm talking about true joy. True joy and fucking happiness. When I can finally say... There's no more to suffer about because I've been compensated. I have not been compensated in three decades, 30 years. It's like I was born in a prison. If anything, I was born more in a North Korean fucking place than typical North Koreans are. Because this country speaks about inalienable rights out in the open. At least in North Korea, they don't say it out in the open. So at least they flat out violate you just from just and, and don't even make you aware of it. Do you understand what I'm talking about? The United States makes you aware that you're being violated. And then guess what? They continue to do it, which is so much worse than actually not even being made aware that you're being violated. Do you understand what I'm talking about? It's so much worse because when you're not aware that you're being violated, you're going to live your life like literally not aware of it because you're not being made aware of it. Do you understand what I'm talking about? The United States of America makes you aware that rights exist and then people still continuously violate despite knowing that. Yes, 
They continuously do it every single fucking second and day with the th at least engage in good theater. Do you understand what I'm talking about? At least engage in good theater. Y'all deliver horrifying theater. Y'all think, for example, things that aren't funny, y'all start laughing after something that's extremely unfunny to put pressure into the fucking audience, into making it seem like it's funny. And I have been experiencing that for so fucking long. For example, America's Funniest Home Videos, that's an example of, of violations where you see people fall in, on their faces and like fall on their faces and break their legs. And everyone's like, ha, 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 ha. It's just not funny. It's only funny if people are insensitive to pain. That's the only way it's funny because they can't feel that pain. So they're doing it for theatrical purposes and other people that can't feel pain are looking at that and they're laughing because they're aware that that person isn't feeling pain. So it is in turn funny. And especially when they're putting on an act and making it seem like it hurts, that's even funnier because you know damn well that it doesn't hurt and they're over here playing it and going, ah! Do you understand what I'm talking about? I can deduce that there are a lot of people in the same way y'all have lied and admitted the truth for many years about, about um, teleportation and telepathy. And y'all have been flat out doing it since I have been a kid, but not flat out outright doing it. Y'all just do it. And like I said, in doses, in small doses, if anything, I can compare it to being given Adderall. You get, you get 10 milligrams or you get 20 milligrams or you get 30 milligrams, whatever. And that's what y'all do. Y'all, y'all give it in like fucking small doses, small, like one milligram fucking doses to the point that it can't be completely fucking felt. Do you understand what I'm talking about? It's still in your body, but you can't actually feel it doing its fucking work. Do you understand? You can't feel it. So you need the dosage upped a bit but that's the thing that's what doctors do they up the dosage when you can't fucking feel it working do you understand y'all do the complete fucking opposite y'all don't up the dosage y'all fucking keep it at the most unbelievable fucking minimum consistently consistently and then you're called out on it and then y'all pull this shit talk about like that's a my a walk of my ah 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 before you judge someone, like, totally, like, literally, like, walk them well in the shoes. Am I right? Like, really? Yes. Oh, my God. I can look at her face and tell that she keeps up with the Kardashians. I can look at her face and tell that she mingles with drug dealers. How do I know? I don't know because fucking Beyonce flat out said it. It's written all over your face. You can tell who someone is by looking at their face. You can tell if someone's gay, if they're straight, if they're bi, if they're whatever by looking at their face because it's written all over them. It's obvious. It's fucking obvious. Sick and fucking tired of it. Yes, the most relevant. Here I am. Do I look happy? Do I look happy? No. Do I look happy? No. Why did I put an angry emoji? Because I'm not fucking happy based on the experience that I fucking had there. For crying out loud, they didn't even fucking... This is a full-blown overfunded facility overfunded do you understand what overfunded is let me type this in provide more funding for something than is necessary or permitted they are overfunded. I don't have to get into it. All you have to do is do some research and realize and come to the conclusion that they are overfunded. They are drowning in money and they can't do a simple thing such as give you privacy when you're going to the fucking dentist as some students. 
Oh, and then they fucking lied because they said that, that that would be supervised by fucking professors. And when I showed up at the fucking institution, this was like a fucking room with a whole bunch of fucking like dental chairs. And they were separated by like, for lack of better fucking example, by literal fucking paper. It was like these public bathrooms without fucking doors. Do you understand? A private, sensitive situation where you're around all of these fucking people and bunched in like some fucking sardines, like this is the fucking Holocaust, to get fucking dental treatment? This is an overfunded facility and they can't even give you a fucking room, a private room with professional students. I'm talking about professional actual students, not fake students and actors that fucking sit there and they're like, oh my god, like, where did you, oh my god, your eyes are like so pretty. Oh my god, like, where did you, like, get that shirt? Oh my god. Like, it's like, wait, so I showed up here and paid money at the front to get treated for a discounted price. Because that's what the, the internet fucking stated. That you go here because it's a discounted price and you get treated by students that are under the supervision of professional fucking doctors and dentists that are literally like, that's their fucking vocation. That's their vocation in life. Those are the people that are supervising them. And then what I sat down to were two fucking students. There was no professor around. There was no professor around. It was just two students and some computer. And, and I don't care. It's not funny. It's not funny. Two students that are extremely fucking annoying. Two students that were extremely annoying because I'm telling you, I've been to a dentist before. Dentists don't act like that. You go to a dentist office, a dentist doesn't greet you. And I'm telling you, I, I went to a dentist a long time ago. But let me tell you, while I was growing up, every time I went to the dentist, the dentist did not treat you like that and said, oh my God, with that tone. Do you understand what I'm talking about? That tone? That, oh my God, I'm like a young adult and like totally inexperienced. Like I have like no idea what I'm fucking doing. Simultaneously, I might, but like it's going to be totally okay. And I mean, I can only do one thing at a time. So you're going to have to do another appointment. And like potentially, like I'm telling you, these people flat out fucking told me that they couldn't take care of all of my cavities then and there. They couldn't do all of that work then and there. They could only do one thing, which is because they said, if you have to do two root canals, we can only do one. And then you might have to come back for three more appointments and all this fucking nonsense to prolong the agony in a fucking medical center that can get these treatments all of this treated immediately that's basic getting your teeth fucking taken care of in a fucking school of dentistry is so unbelievably basic at this point i feel like i can go up to a fucking dentist no at this point i really feel like i can go up to a fucking dentist a dentist office right now holding a gun and telling them, you know what? Here's the fucking constitution. Here's the universal declaration of human rights. It's been printed out. I have inalienable rights. I'm going to shoot you in the fucking head if you don't fucking take care of my fucking dental care right fucking now. Because based on inalienable rights, I don't need to fucking have money for you to fucking take care of my fucking health. Grow the fuck up and fucking treat it right fucking now. Piece of fucking shit. Oh, and here's the fucking, here's the teleportation document. Here's the telepathy document you piece of fucking shit so if you go and pull this theatrical capitalistic bullshit where you call the nonsense police force you're going oh you're gonna call the police force you know the ones that say in god we trust you the same one you know the bible you know the bible the one that talks about telepathy and blah 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 and then you can't actually go outside and figure out the birds murmur and birds are engaging in telepathy. You know, the same Bible that says God cares about everyone, even if they're fucking birds. Look at how he cares about animals. So why wouldn't he care about you? Okay, well, if God cares about me, why the fuck am I here pointing a fucking gun at you? Not wanting to interact with you because bitch, what? Guess what? You're probably a straight man or a straight woman. You are completely away from my fucking field of people and I'm over here having to be forced to interact with you? Fix my fucking teeth. Like, I feel like at that point, I would get better treatment 
And that person would be like, okay, okay, it doesn't matter. Put the gun down. We'll take care of your teeth here and there. Here and here and there, because I can I can tell that you literally went to a beyond overfunded, beyond overfunded school of dentistry, an actual school of dentistry, not just a not just a, a practitioner, not just some random random no, I'm talking about like the headquarters. You went to the actual headquarters, and the headquarters were like, um, like I have like literally potentially like no idea what I'm doing. Like, oh my God, I'm like fresh out of high school. So like, I'm like technically not really like that guy. Like, and I'm like literally like, oh my God, I like so love your shoes. Oh my God, like your shoes are like so cute. Like, where did you get them? Oh my God. And like, did you like totally like blah, 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 blah. And I, oh my God, I'm telling you that was the tone and the vibes that were coming out of that fucking place. Not professional, but you're a student that doesn't give you the right to act like that. Do you understand what I'm talking about? In a university, not a fucking local college, a university, not a fucking local ass fucking little ITT tech school, a university and you're over here presenting yourself as some fucking idiot. I'm just saying, I'm fucking saying, I'm sick and fucking tired of it. And you're an adult. Not only that, you're an adult. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Not only that, not only are you acting like a fucking idiot while a student, no, you're an adult. You're an adult. Abusing a violated person. I had to, I had to post this. Love and abuse cannot coexist. You can't have inalienable rights and simultaneously be abused by other people with inalienable rights. The only way it's fair if it's, there's some if is is if there's some compensation from all of that at the fucking end. Do you understand? There has to be some compensation. After all of the abuse, there has to be some compensation for this to be fair and loving. Do you understand? So I had to put this, it's unsolicited advice because number one, I'm the one that's poor right now. So I'm not the one, bitch, do you understand how this is a violation to me? Just reading this as a poor person, you're telling, cause you're telling, like you're generally speaking to people when you're saying before you judge someone and you're over here telling me the violated person. The violated person with enough evidence, more than enough evidence to prove that I'm consistently being fucking violated. And you're telling me not to judge people? I am the judge. I am the judge. Because when I have inalienable rights, I am officially the judge when I am violated from the get-go. Do you understand? Do you understand? And the fact that the society that I'm living in is too insensitive to understand that I have been violated and in turn don't do anything, I am technically under every fucking right to fucking judge anyone, anyone. Because when telepathy is real and you can clearly see a whole bunch of smaller animals like birds doing it right in front of your fucking face and they're doing it so harmoniously and so perfectly and then you have animals that are humans with bigger brains doing like in acting like they're fucking stupid as shit consistently yet birds are showing like this perfect harmony perfect constitution perfect execution while they're engaging in murmuring and they're doing it right in your face, tele showing off the telepathy right in your face. And they're not hurting you. The birds didn't come and attack me. They didn't come in and conspire together to come in and attack me and kill me. But humans that know better, they're out in space. They can, 
describe what telepathy is and describe what teleportation is. Y'all can describe those things. Birds can just go. Burr, 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 burr. They can they can't really describe it, but they can show it more than human beings can. Human beings lie. Birds, I don't think birds lie. Maybe they might. Maybe I'll I'll get down that line later. But human beings lie in a way that's so fucking abusive. That's so fucking abusive that birds, birds are completely innocent because if birds are lying and they actually know how to talk and stuff like that, that is not, I wouldn't consider that abuse because birds are fucking cute. I've never seen an ugly ass fucking bird that's engaging in fu fucking nonsense that is beyond fucking abusive. Except with the exception of like fucking geese. But they're the fucking overwhelming mi minority. Humans in general? That's the overwhelming majority when, tele when teleportation and telepathy exist. And then you see birds doing it naturally. All of them together. All of them together. And then you see human beings talking about it. only a select few of people can do that. But the person who told me that has an exception. He has he has a, a pass because he's a gay man. Gay men, especially attractive gay men that I find attractive, they have a pass. They have a pass when it comes to being fucking like stupid or even being idiotic or saying stupid shit. Do you understand? Because those are gay men that I'm attracted to. It's not really fucking hard to understand that. Now... People that aren't gay, bisexual, straight people, regular, your everyday fucking straight, bisexual, pansexual, whatever, even transgender fucking people, y'all don't have that past. I will formally fucking hate you. Now, a gay man that I'm attracted to, like, he could fucking chop my head off. And I would still be like, do you understand how they talk about, yeah, slay me, queen. Yeah, slay me, queen. Do you understand? They have that fucking right. Like, they get to get away with it. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how fucking crude they are. My eyes, for some strange reason, still finds them attractive. I don't know how that works. Go ask God. But y'all, like, bitch, you a whole ass fucking woman. Bitch, do not pull it. Nigga, like, you, I'm just saying no. No, no, and no. No, no, and no. So y'all are abusing me. And then on top of that, telling me I should not judge before I think about judging somebody. But and did you like totally keep up with the Kardashians yesterday? Because I did. Like, oh my god, I'm like really. I'm like, oh my god, that was the vibes that were coming out of these fucking overfunded fucking people. Do you understand what I'm talking about? That was. Those were the vibes that we're coming in. I don't care if I come out informal. I'm being informally formal. Yes, that's what I'm doing. I'm being informally formal. Do you understand what I mean? I'm not being formally informal. I'm being informally formal in the sense that I don't know how to completely execute formalities, but the intention underneath all of this is formal. So in turn, I am being formal. It doesn't matter what I say. Do you understand what I'm talking about? It doesn't matter if I use the incorrect language. Do you understand? Kind of like when a child doesn't know what to say because they don't have all the words, but then they're still saying, you're a meanie. You're mean. Right? Because you're being called out because you're a fucking piece of fucking shit. You are an abuser. You are a using and then trying to make it seem like oh no high blood pressure is simply a matter of genetic things and la 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 no it's a matter of a person being under stress while being around abusive people so in turn their body is working overtime to 
bring the effect about, do you understand what I'm talking about? Bring the effect about of you compensating, the society compensating, the mother compensating, the father compensating, the people compensating for the fucking violations. Because I don't have to take your fucking advice. You say, oh, just relax. I remember <laughs> right after I left, what happened right after I left this place? They were like, oh, take it easy. I'm like, bitch, no, 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 no. Well, actually, don't even tell me what to do, but I am taking it easy. I am taking it easy by fucking forcing it. Do you understand? Because what I'm talking about when they say take it easy, what they're, in other words, what they're trying to imply is, oh, just relax and let everyone else do whatever the fuck they want to do at your expense, which ain't gonna fucking happen in my fucking universe, bitch, where I have inalienable fucking rights. God gave me these rights. So in turn, I can say God, God has my back at this fucking point. So I can fucking say I'm God and God will let me fucking say it. I'm God. I'm the one that's judging y'all. I This is the fucking final judgment. Do you understand what I'm talking about? This is the final judgment because y'all are being fucking abusive. Y'all are being fucking abusive by dictionary definition by dictionary definition. The dictionary is above the government. The dictionary is above the government because you need the dictionary as a fundamental tool. You need it to be able to make sense of things. You can't sit there and fucking say, oh, well, like, uh, the dictionary, like, uh, uh, like I'm, uh, uh, uh. And I'm the one that, like, totally, like, and then, like, I, like, totally went to, like, and then, like, really, and, like, and then, like, I, like, was totally there, and, like, oh, my God, and then she was, like, totally over there, and, like, she came here, and then I was, like, oh, my God, so you, like, went to Africa last summer? Oh my god, but I was in like Southeast Asia and then my friend was like in like Singapore and uh, like we met up and then like took us out there. Oh my god. That is the vibes that I was getting from the fucking people at this fucking place. Not these super, like they're trying to make it seem like they care here. They don't fucking give a fuck. If anything, they could have fucking sedated me put me under fucking general anesthesia and did that work immediately while I was fucking asleep. They have, they have that fucking, they have, they're overfunded. They wouldn't have, they, that wouldn't have been a fucking loss to their profit. That would have been, that wouldn't even, they are overfunded. Give me one second. Hold on. UT Health um, funding. Let's see how much they make. Let's see how much they make. This is like, what, 2010 to the 2014? And as you can see, oh, they're making a profit over the years. Millions and millions and millions and millions of fucking dollars. Millions of dollars. Millions of dollars. And they can't fucking, they can't fucking pay. But like, do you understand what I'm talking about? Do you understand what I'm fucking talking about? Millions of dollars for simple procedures that don't fucking take truly and honestly when you look at the actual work that's done behind it what does it cost like a penny less than a fucking penny what because they said oh no porcelain is very expensive for these new crowns and new teeth okay so why hold on Why does this, okay, why is a porcelain doll like $70, $13? Okay, why, okay, hold on. What, what, what is it, what is it? Um, 
you can't fucking, uh, oh, yeah, porcelain. That's what they're made out of, porcelain. Why do they cost so much? I'm just giving an example. Porcelain teeth cost a thousand eight hundred. Do you understand how it's abusive? Do you understand how it's abusive? A porcelain doll is called a porcelain doll because it is made of porcelain. Why do you think they would call it a porcelain doll if it wasn't made out of porcelain? So guess what? These teeth are made out of porcelain. So why are they charging you exorbitant amounts of money? Why? Why? Porcelain. Porcelain. They're over here scamming people. Like the same thing goes with LASIK. Hold on. Um... How much does a root canal cost? Like a thousand dollars. Yeah, right? So they, they can treat something that's so basic with basic materials that you can get at like a fucking like Walmart for like 30 fucking cents. And they're over here charging you a thousand three hundred. And then they're claiming, oh no, but it's because we have expertise. And like you should, we should, like we'll cost you more because nobody else knows really how to do it. And we have expertise. So technically we can. Do you understand how evil that is? I don't have to get much into it. That is evil by definition. Because if you have expertise, that means that it comes easy to you. So you should just be doing. And in a, in a group of people that come together to end pain, do you understand what I'm talking about? End pain and cut it out. Cut it out and provide hygienic information for people. Hygienic information so that they don't fucking get into fucking trouble. I'm talking about real hygienic information, not this nonsense when you're in fucking, what do you call it, in middle school and elementary school and high school where all of the fucking kids are some fucking arrogant pieces of shits and then the teacher and half of them are shitting their pants. No, I'm talking about hygienic information for adults that are out experiencing life. Do you understand? That are going after education for their own, out of their own volition and not because they're being forced into it. And half of the fucking kids at that fucking school are literally, what do you call it? Oh yeah, they're shitting their pants. They're peeing themselves. They're fighting each other and nonsense. This is evil. Hold on. Why does a root canal cost so much? Hold on. <laughs> you know, stupid shit. Stupid lies. These are lies. The reason it is expensive. Do you understand? This is like a conglomerate. An or this is this. This is an example of organized crime. This is the fucking mafia. Do you understand? This is an example of organized crime. Medical facilities that are out here going on fucking on the internet and misinforming people, disinforming people, disinforming, not misinforming because misinformation is when you um, accidentally tell a lie because you didn't know better. These people know better and they are lying. And what is that called? A crime. It's illegal according to the fucking U.S. Constitution. So we can go out, you know, with our Second Amendment and show up at this fucking place and shoot it the fuck up. Why? Because tyranny, tyranny is synonymous with illegal things in this country and they are in turn being tyrannous. Do you understand what I'm talking about? They are breaking federal fucking law by fucking lying and claiming out several fine instruments that are so expensive to produce. Like, Oh my God. And guess what? They don't even tell you what's fine. And they don't even get into, that's how you know it's a lie because they're not getting into the details as to why they are so expensive. Do you understand? Do you understand? They don't give you more information because they don't want you calling them the fuck out. 
They don't want you calling them the fuck out. They want to make a profit at your expense and your financial fucking expense. Being one of the most challenging and time-consuming procedures makes it an expensive treatment. In other words, we can't use psychokinesis and just fix your fucking pain immediately because the federal government flat out said that teleportation is literally real. But, like, let's call it extremely challenging and time-consuming, even though, like, it's not challenging and time-consuming because, like, anyone who's gone a root canal before knows that it literally only takes, like, not even more than a fucking hour, especially with, like, a fucking trained-ass fucking person. Like, oh my god. Oh my god. The reason it is expensive is that the root canal requires several fine instruments, which are expensive, and requires a surgical theater. Look, like, do you notice how they how they use this word? At least they're being honest about that. At least, because, you know, like I mentioned before, it's all theatrical. It's not fucking no nonsense in the sense that they're using, they're giving you a psychokinesis manual and a teleportation manual and a fucking, you know, you, you know, you know what I'm talking about so that you can teleport your teeth back to fucking normal. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Surgical theater, because it's fake. Theater is acting. It's a lie. It's dramatic. It's drama. It's not no nonsense and matter of fact. Do you understand? Do you understand? Let's look up synonyms for fucking theater so that you get the gist of what it is. It is a fucking public performance of plays. It's a drama, stage, theatrics. Dramatics, theatrics, production, theatricals, acting, enter. It's not even entertainment because if there's pain involved, I have no idea where you fucking come from because pain isn't entertaining unless you're a masochist. And there's no such thing as a masochist if you have inalienable rights because that shit makes no fucking sense. How do you get pleasure out of pain? It is impossible. It's incompatible. Do you understand? It's like this fucking thing that I posted right here, just to make it more clear to you. Love and abuse cannot coexist. Uh, it, you can't get pleasure out of pain. It makes no sense because pain is very distinct and it simply is what it is. And pleasure is the complete opposite. Do you understand? Love is the opposite of abuse. Do you understand what I'm talking about? They can't coexist together. Do you understand what I'm talking about? They can't be genuinely coexisting together. It doesn't, it, it makes sense. Do you understand what I'm talking about? It makes sense. You can't have pain and fucking get pleasure out of it. It makes no sense whatsoever. If anything, the only pleasure you get out of pain is the fact, you know, the sense of relief after the pain. Do you understand what I'm talking about? That's the only pleasure you get out of pain. The sense of relief after it's done. Do you understand? That's literally the only pleasure you get out of pain. But masochism is the complete opposite. Masochism tries to paint it as if you need to be in consistent pain because you get pleasure out of it. And that makes no fucking sense. Literally by dictionary definition, it makes no sense. But let's go back to this. At least they fucking call this out that it's theater. And I, like I said before, y'all are engaging in bad theater because there's pain involved and y'all know that there's pain involved and someone's calling you out on it. And that person isn't acting. They're simply being forced to lie because they know that if they flat out said, right? Because you know what I really wanted to do while I was sitting at that fucking dental chair was literally look at both of those idiots and been like, number one, teleportation. Like if I really were, if I really like, because I really, really wanted to tell the truth. But once again, pressure exists. People can pressure you into doing something you don't want to fucking do. And that's what they were fucking doing. And given the fact that I am still sensitive to pain, I didn't do what I had to do because I still feel pain. As opposed to, let's just say I was one of these fucking people. Hold on. One of these people that don't feel pain at all. They don't feel pain. They're insensitive to pain. But they can feel pressure. Do you understand what I'm talking about? They can feel pressure. I've already done my studying on this. 
they can feel pressure. They can feel pressure. They can feel pressure. They can feel like here, it says it right here for people with this disorder, cognition and sensation are otherwise normal. They can feel pressure when you're getting touched by somebody. It's pressure. It's pressure. I'm look, look at this. This is evident pressure. I'm putting pressure on this screen. You can see it. It's pressure. Pressure can be annoying. It can be annoying. Even if you don't feel pain, do you understand what I'm talking about? I can still, I can still feel pain. I can still feel pain. Do you understand what I'm talking about? I can still feel pain. So in turn, I was being abused by those fucking students by being pressured into, because obviously they have telepathy. I just went over how everyone has telepathy. They could tell what was on my mind and they were pressuring me to lie and make it seem like I was just there like some other fucking typical fucking patient. So that is in turn a violation because what I really wanted to do and given the fact that inalienable rights are real, I have every right to do whatever the fuck I want to fucking do. Because number one, I'm not even a bad fucking person. I'm a gay man. So you can deduce that I'm only going to be around other gay men I'm fucking attracted to and are equally attracted to me. Do you understand? Like, why? Like, do you understand what I'm talking about? Why would I even be around you? Do you understand? Unless there's like a moment where I have to be around you. I'm just fucking saying, um... At least I'm glad that they're calling this out because that was theatrical. Those fucking, a fucking overfunded fucking school where they're over here fucking talking about, and that like, we're like so sorry, but like, we like literally can't fucking do it. And I'm like, I'm like literally like a 24 year old woman talking like, I'm like literally like a fucking like 13 year old girl. They, like, literally loves Netflix. And that's all I care about. Like, oh, my God. The thought of a root canal, it's not frightening. It's not frightening. Um, this is all theater. Um, it's frightening because people lie about it and they try to make it seem like it's fucking scary. It's not scary. It's only scary when you have sensitivity to pain, which a lot of you don't, but y'all lie about it. Y'all lie about being in pain when y'all literally fucking aren't. You may have to pay more for an x-ray and a dental crown. <laughs> Don't use these words. Don't say this. Great oral health that will last forever. Don't use this word unless you live for eternity. Don't use this word unless you're immortal. Use this word, use this word accurately. When someone's immortal, yeah, use this word. Yeah, use this word when someone's immortal. Don't use that word when we're, you're around a whole bunch of mortal people. Oh, I love how they're calling this out. To eliminate the pain. So yes, I am by definition in pain, but truly and honestly, like I would just rather, you know, just use this. And truly and honestly, I'm going to be serious. Like this is literally like the only, um, it's, it's violating because, um, they're flat out, flat out. The title is, the title is, is teleportation possible.